Recently, I had to tear out an old built-in workbench in my basement to get access to the plumbing. But rather than just put it back the way it was, I figured this would be a great opportunity to build a new and improved workbench, or work table, for some light duty, hobby, tinkering, and repair work. The old bench was built using 2x4s for the frame. This worked fine, but it was bulky and tended to get in the way when I would sit down at the table like a desk. So to give the new bench a slimmer frame and keep it strong, I turned to using steel, specifically 1 inch square steel tubing with a pretty heavy gauge, about eighth of an inch thick. The frame's design consists of four basic flat steel frames. These will each be welded up individually and then bolted together. One large frame across the back, two steel frames on each side, and a smaller frame across the top. To keep the whole thing mobile, we'll put it up on four casters. By building the frame in four separate pieces, it should make it a lot easier to move the entire thing down into my basement and then assemble it once it gets there. If you have access to a steel cutting bandsaw, I highly recommend it, as you can get some nice square cuts. This, however, is not my saw, but luckily I was able to use it to cut all the pieces I needed based off of my plan. Of course, there are many ways to cut steel tubing, and after cutting most of my pieces, I made some slight changes to the design and had to cut a few more pieces using the cutoff wheel on my angle grinder. After getting a lot of sparks bouncing off of my table and back at me, I set up this tray of water to catch most of the sparks coming off of the grinder. For mounting the casters, I measured the hole pattern and printed a simple drilling template to make four steel plates. Now I haven't done any welding in about 10 years, but I've always enjoyed it and I thought it might be fun to try picking it up again. Thanks to a good friend, I was able to borrow a welder for this project and see if I could pick it up again after so many years. A quick word of advice, pay attention to the electrical requirements of the welder. This welder clearly stated that it needed a 20 amp circuit to work properly. I only had a 15 amp circuit available and I wasted a lot of time hoping that I could get something good enough out of the welder, but none of my welds held like I should have. Thankfully, I was able to use the 20 amp circuit in my parents' garage, and those extra 5 amps made all the difference. To attach the caster plates, I made a simple wooden jig to center them on the bottom of the table legs. These two dowels fit into the holes on the plate, and a square cutout fits snugly around the end of the tubing. Now, despite all the trouble I had to go through to get this welded, it was a lot of fun. I might have to find a way to do this at home in the future. Since I'm still pretty inexperienced with welding, my welds definitely needed some cleanup with a grinder. To prepare for assembly, I clamped the four frame pieces together and drilled all of the through holes that I would need for bolting everything together and screwing down the tabletop. To prep for painting, I used a sandpaper wheel on the grinder to clean off the tubing and just create a better surface that the primer could bond to. Once all of the welded pieces were prepped and clean, I sprayed them down with a coat of primer. I took advantage of one of the big trees in my yard and used it to hang up the larger pieces so I could easily paint it from all sides. The various holes I drilled made it easy to hook and hang them from bungee cords. Since the side pieces could stand up on their own, I just painted those on the floor of the garage and everything got a couple coats of black paint. With everything painted and dry, I brought the pieces downstairs and started bolting them all together with two and a half inch bolts, washers, and nylon lock nuts. I only finger tightened everything first. This ended up being a good idea because I originally put my side pieces on backwards 
and didn't realize it until the last bolt didn't line up. That one's not matching up. So at least it was easy to take apart and fix before tightening everything up again with the socket wrench. The casters were attached in much the same way, just bolting them onto the legs of the table. I put the two locking casters on the front of the table to make them easier to access. Well, I gotta say, for my first welding project in about 10 years, this turned out great. I am really excited about this thing. It's gonna be great to get my basement work area back and up and running. Of course, I am still missing a tabletop. That's gonna come in the next video. So keep an eye out for that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and you'll see that project coming up soon. Um, otherwise, uh, we've got a nice sturdy frame here. This is going to work well and uh, looking forward to using it. Thanks for watching.